Hi, Eddie, Katie. Yeah, we uh, are here at the uh, Synergy location here where uh, law enforcement are pr continuing to comb through evidence. Uh, we saw them uh, walking back and forth, uh, looking and, and identifying uh, uh, evidence on the ground here. Uh, we just uh, wrapped up a short time ago that press conference with uh, the governor, uh, federal law enforcement officials, state uh, elected leaders as well. Uh, and after that press conference, which you all heard, uh, we, we talked with uh, State Senator Kel Seliger uh, afterwards, and, and we wanted to kind of just get uh, his take on, on how this community is feeling, uh, to talk about, uh, you know, possibility of, of action on gun legislation, uh, whether that happens uh, sometime uh, in the, the interim or uh, having to wait until the next legislative session uh, start convenes in January 2021 to make something happen. Uh, but he said that, uh, you know, that he has had a lot of interactions with um, uh, with the governor, with law enforcement, uh, talking about uh, the fact that this uh, is just, he, he said, everyone is pretty disturbed uh, that this has happened, at least seemingly now more in Texas than in other places. He says people are worried, and I think the governor is clear that he's looking for solutions. He said, you know, you could replace the name Odessa with, with, with Amarillo, with El Paso, you know, you name the city, and, the, and there's a concern, right, about uh, how to proceed and how to look out for public safety in communities just like this one. He said, said, what we cannot do is nothing. Uh, and so that's something that, that he was pretty firm on. We asked about uh, if there was the possibility of the governor calling a special session to take action. He said that unless there are some uh, solid ideas on the table about what needs to happen, then a 30-day special session isn't going to have effectiveness. And so he said, you know, if there are some substan substantial, some substantive ideas that are being talked about, and they need to be implemented, then maybe calling a special session is the right move to make. So uh, a lot there to uh, digest as we uh, continue to process some of that information. We also had a chance to uh, have a conversation with uh, Representative Tom Craddock, uh, who has, of course, been uh, a, a mainstay in the Texas legislature for the last uh, five decades. And he said, you know, it's hard to believe in this community that we live in something like this could happen. He said he was impressed with the law enforcement response uh, and that we owe a debt of gratitude to the agencies, the police forces, DPS, the emergency folks at the hospital, uh, everybody who has done a great job to, to uh, keep this from getting any worse than it already is at this point. Um, he said that uh, since El Paso that he has been part of uh, some of the uh, discussions surrounding uh, the uh, um, public safety in the state of Texas. He knows that the governor has been meeting with, with law enforcement folks uh, all the time here and so he ha also uh, seemingly has that idea that you know he wants some recommendations that the legislature can move forward with uh, to have a more substantive conversation overall.